I'm Dr. Jacinta Nzinga. I work with Kemi Welcome Trust Nairobi. Uh, my early training is in uh, the basics of public health. And then I went on to do my master's in uh, global health and my PhD in leadership and management in clinical healthcare settings. Um, so I branched off a bit from doing public health because uh, looking at how uh, health systems are governed is very important, particularly if we are thinking about how to make sure that interventions are successful and that they are sustainable. So it's important to look at what's happening behind those interventions, not just the technical aspects of it, but also the social context and how that influences how things are done. So at the moment, I'm doing some work on the health workforce. That's where my main interest is. And I'm doing work on the nursing health workforce in Kenya, uh, part of the health systems that deliver for newborns. And really what we're doing is doing an ethnography of nursing within these neonatal wards to understand how nurses make sense of what to do in such chaotic and very emotive environments. And particularly in terms of to prioritize what care to deliver to children when they have such huge numbers of babies and such few ratios of nurses. Um, so this work is very important in the sense that uh, historically, nurses have been left out in the policy table. Their voice is not heard. Uh, they, they have been thought of, not just in Kenya, but globally, they have been thought of as an assisting profession. So really what is driving us is how to give them voice so that they can show how much they do and therefore how important they are in delivering these interventions. So the, the, the ethnographic work in the health services that deliver for newborn is also related to a new grant we won with a, a colleague of mine that's going to look at the role of nurses in improving quality of care. And we're really going to focus a little bit more on their professional identities to understand how nurses are socialized from training schools and therefore what that means in terms of giving them agency and agitating for change. And so far, we've already seen a lot of interest in health workforce issues in Kenya, particularly post-devolution. Uh, with a lot of the leadership within the counties wanting to know how to make use of such a limited resource. And we're already in discussions with a lot of expert groups within the Kenyan ground from the council and training schools and trying to work with them together in developing, you know, not just the questions, but feeding back interim as we go on to see how they can really improve practice and training itself from the word go. So, it does feel like timely work and it does feel like it's really going to make a lot of difference in terms of making sure interventions are sustainable over time.